Bishop Juan Portino at this time. To give that to the Lord. Thank you, Bishop. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you. Well, what a joy. What a joy is to be here in this yeah. wonderful conference. Uh, just, just to be in this platform with this wonderful man of God uh, is such a privilege. And I want to thank the Lord for that. Uh, I want to praise God for all these uh, messages that we were getting uh, yesterday and this morning. They were powerful, powerful messages of God. And I want to praise God for each and every one of these preachers. And it's an honor for me to be here. Really, it's an honor. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for this invitation from Bishop Lopez. And I want to tell you a funny story along with this invitation. Why don't you just be seated for a moment. And uh, I, want to, I want to give you a tip. When, when you call someone on the phone, make sure when you finish your conversation, your phone is turned off. Because otherwise you're going to be in trouble. So when Bishop Lopez called me, uh, he was so excited when he called me, he forgot to turn off the phone after the uh, conversation. And I guess he was in a committee meeting when he invited me. And uh, because I heard some, so many voices in the background. So, and after I said yes, I was coming this year. Uh, like I said, he forgot to turn off the phone. We said bye-bye, God bless you and all. So he uh, talked to the committee. And he said, uh, people, you know what? And I was hearing everything. <laughs> and, and the committee said, what bishop? You know, Brother Fortino said, yes, he's coming this time. And everybody, everybody at the same time said, nah. <laughs> we don't believe you. <laughs> at the same time. So, and, and uh, I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> the rest is under the blood and it's forgiven. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. They had a celebration after that. It was a very, very nice, nice moment. It is an honor to be here, Bishop Lopez, who uh, invited me to come over here. It's, a, it's such a joy to see uh, Bishop Arellano here on this platform. I love this man so much. And uh, all the pastors and pastor's wife here in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in this beautiful church is, is such a blessing. Uh, to be amongst these these friends, I mean, we uh, we had a little time in, in the back door over there and in, in the back room, and uh, we prayed together, we talked, and it's it's such a such a beautiful spirit, and and uh, I'm really honored uh, to be in this conference, and and uh, I I came uh, thinking I'm gonna share something with you about what the Lord gave me to give you, but uh, I'm I'm being blessed. And I think I'm the one that is getting from you right now. And what I'm going to give you is just a little portion of what the Lord, you know, uh, ministry in my life for you. But, uh, but I'm getting so blessed uh, with the preachings and the teachings that we're getting. Uh, it, it, is, it is something so, so uh, beautiful. And I really thank the Lord for this wonderful uh, opportunity. And uh, I want to bless God with everything that I got. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you two things. Uh, don't get so caught up in my accent because I know some people right now are kind of you know, looking at me funny. But uh, I have an accent even in Spanish. So when I go to Argentina, I was born in Argentina, I'm from Buenos Aires. When I go to Argentina, they think I'm Cuban. And when I went to Cuba, they thought that I was Mexican. I went to Mexico and they thought that I was from Nicaragua. <laughs> so and I went to Nicaragua and they, they asked me over there where I was coming from. So, so one thing is that. And number two, if I offend someone with phrases, uh, just write it down and at the end of the service uh, you let me know and uh, I promise you I will not say it again. Just, just pay attention to what the Lord put in my heart for you. I think I have a message from God 
to all of us, you know, tonight for the glory of God. Maybe some small contribution, maybe it's a little thing, but I want to I wanna, I wanna share it with you for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Why don't we open our Bibles? Let's, let's get ready for the uh, Word of God. Uh, why don't we stand, please, and let's open our Bibles in the book of Genesis. And, and after I read the Word of God, I would like to uh, ask my friend, uh, uh, Tito Lopez, the pastor of uh, the beautiful church in Morgan Hill here in California, to come and pray and lead us in prayer. But let me read uh, this scripture in the, in the book of Genesis, chapter 17, for the glory of God. <clears throat> the book of Genesis, chapter 17, we're going to start in verse number 1, and we're going to go all the way to uh, verse 8, for the glory of God. I'm using here the uh, New English uh, translation. Uh, I know some of you use King James uh, uh, and different versions of the Bible. I like to use this one for, for my English uh, reading because it's very easy to read. <laughs> and that's the only reason why I'm using it. And that's all. <laughs> Praise God. So Genesis chapter 17. And uh, by the way, this is my first time that I preach in an apostolic church in English. <laughs> and God has a very uh, strange uh, sense of humor because... I thought maybe my first time would be in a small group in uh, <laughs> five to ten people. But God brings me to the end time restoration 2009. God is good. And God is powerful. Uh, Genesis uh, 17, uh, 1 says, When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the sovereign God. Walk before me and be blameless. Then I will confirm my covenant between me and you, and I will give you a multitude of descendants. Abram bowed down with his face on the ground, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer will your name be Abraham. Instead, your name will be Abraham. Because I will make you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you extremely fruitful. I will make nations of you. And kings will descend from you. I will confirm my covenant as a perpetual covenant between me and you. It will extend to your descendants after you throughout their generations. And I will be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give the whole land of Canaan, the land where you are now residing, to you and your descendants after you as a permanent possession. And I will be their God. Praise you, Jesus. The title of this message is In Every Seed, In Every Seed, There Is a Forest. In Every Seed, There Is a Forest. A single seed, a single seed has the potential to create a forest. And I would like to talk to you tonight with the help of the Lord about the potential, not the ability, not the reality, but the potential that we have in Jesus Christ. The potential in Christ is beyond our abilities, is beyond our reality. It's something that the Lord put in all of us for His glory, and we need in the name of Jesus, to understand once and for all that God is waiting for His church to work in His in His potential, not with His abilities, not with uh, surrounding abilities or or, or